We woke up to a lot of snow in Texas and decided it's a perfect day to clean, organize, and declutter. This kind of weather is unheard of here, and quite frankly, our city isn't equipped to handle weather like this. Our door is stuck. If you live in Texas, I'm sending you lots of love. Please stay safe. Today I'm taking you through my cleaning routine, specifically in our kitchen and living room, and I'm also going to declutter and reorganize my pantry. Long overdue. But before we get started, I'm going to make myself an Americano, go through my morning routine, and just get myself centered and ready for the day. If you're curious about my full morning routine, let me know in the comments. I've never actually filmed a full video on it before, and I think it'd be super fun to share. All right, friends, let's get to cleaning. Every morning before I begin my workday, I do a quick tidy up in the kitchen and living room. I learned long ago that clutter really triggers my anxiety, and therefore, if I wanna feel good and be able to focus, I must prioritize this. My husband and I keep a shared daily tidy up checklist in Notion, and it's been a really good, clear way for us to be on the same page about our expectations. You know, everyone has their own definition of what clean is, so writing it out and putting a timestamp on it is what has really clicked for us. For the kitchen, it's really about putting dirty dishes into the dishwasher and running it if it's full. And if the dishwasher is cleaned, we empty it. It's my job to take care of the dirty dishes and it's Andrew's job to put away the clean ones. When the dishwasher is clean and ready to be emptied, I just put a dish towel over it so that we don't accidentally close it and get it mixed up with dirty dishes. You know how that is. Every few days, I clean my sink with vinegar and a little baking soda. I like to keep a glass jar of baking soda mixed with essential oils like peppermint or lemon, and it's just a really simple way to freshen things up. Once all the dishes are done, I spray some Branch Basics onto our countertops and surfaces and give it a quick wipe down. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Moving on to the living room, you can be certain there's always dog toys scattered about, so I usually pick those up and put them back in the toy bin. When I do my daily tidy ups, my main goal is to quickly put everything back where it belongs. Everything has a home within my home. So dog toys belong in the dog toy bin, pillows go back on the couch. We have a little cord organizer to hide all the ugly cords under our entertainment center. And we even have a bin for the random socks and clothes that are left downstairs. When you get into the habit of putting things back their place, that's how you avoid clutter piling up. That about sums up what a daily tidy up looks like in our home. We mostly focus on the downstairs since it's the space that gets the messiest out of all the rooms in our house. Now I'm going to shift gears and declutter and reorganize our pantry. I've been wanting to tackle this for a while now and since we're snowed in, it's a great opportunity and excuse to finally do the damn thing. The first step to reorganizing your pantry is to start with a blank canvas. So just take everything out, take everything off the shelves and just clear out the whole thing. I like to use this opportunity to wipe down all our shelves, vacuum up any dust bunnies, any crumbs, anything that's just been lurking within the corners of our pantry. Then I just go through every single item that's in our bins. I look at expiration dates. I compost any food that's old or expired. Wasting food definitely sucks, so an organized pantry really helps to manage this. When you can clearly see and easily access everything in your pantry, you can take better inventory of what you already have instead of, say, buying more crackers you don't need when there's another unfinished bag hiding behind the chaos. For our canned goods, I'm just checking all the dates since it's been a while, and anything that expires this year, I'm putting it at the front of my basket just to make sure that I use it up. As I mentioned, I like to keep like-minded things together, so I have two bins for baking ingredients like nuts and sugar and cocoa powder. I also have gluten-free flours, baking soda, and I have a bin for salad dressings, nut butters, and honey. We have my favorite bin, which is a bin for all of our snacks, and then we also have a bin for our rice, rice noodles, grains, things like that, as well as some Asian cooking ingredients. This is just a little glimpse into the many bins that we have in our pantry, but just wanted to give you an idea of how I group things together and how my brain kind of works, but everyone's gonna approach things differently, so my best advice is to just follow the flow of your own household. While having bins certainly makes your pantry look aesthetically pleasing, the point in doing all this is to make things easier on you. So create a system that makes sense for you and your needs. Thanks for watching today's Clean With Me video. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye for now.